Hello, I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I am working as consultant in pediatric pulmonology and sleep medicine at B. L. Kapoor Super Speciality Hospital, New Delhi. So today we will be discussing about a very common problem in children and that is cough. Cough is seem to affect most children especially when they are young and the number of episodes decrease as they grow older. So the most important cause of cough in children remains as upper respiratory tract infections. So they usually would present with an episode of cold uh, associated with cough and there may or may not be fever. These episodes are usually short lasting remaining for 5 to 7 days. During these episodes the child might feel a bit lazy, lethargic and not keeping well. Usually these infections are viral in origin. There can be multiple viruses which can be prevailing during a particular season and it is important to understand that most of these infections do not need extensive treatment. There is no need of giving antibiotics. Most of the cough syrups which are available in the market, they are not helpful and can have side effects. So what basically helps is increased hydration, some amount of honey, tulsi and just some amount of patience and the child will gradually improve in the next 5 to 7 days. Now sometimes the, the infections can be bacterial and we call these as pharyngitis and tonsillitis. But children in these conditions will be more sick, they will have very high grade fever, they will have pain in the throat and when we check the throat we will find that children would be having tonsils which are enlarged, red, swollen and they might have pus points. Apart from these usual causes, a child can have problems where the child has fever, cough and also has some problems with the chest in the form of fast breathing, difficulty in breathing. In such situations, a child might be having either a wheezing episode because of asthma or can be having a pneumonia. These things have to be considered in a child who presents with a cough of a short duration usually lasting for a few days like somewhere like 3-4 days till around 2 weeks. But there can be situations when cough doesn't seem to improve. So you can have a child who presents with a cough which is like 2-3 to three weeks of duration or even longer. Now in such cases we, we should look for the other reasons for cough instead of just giving antibiotics or just giving cough syrups or just giving nebulizations. So the common causes which are seen uh, in, in children where cough doesn't seem to improve, the first common cause would be asthma. So children with asthma will keep on coughing, they will have a prolonged episode after the, uh, the viral infection, they will have some wheezing in the chest which is a musical sound which is heard in the chest, they would have difficulty in breathing, shortness of breath and this is very common which is, which is seen in a particular season. So a proper treatment of asthma will improve the cough. The other common cause which is seen uh, where cough doesn't seem to improve is, is an allergic nose and associated sinusitis. So children will have a lot of stuffy nose, blocked nose, a post nasal drip, they will feel uncomfortable when they lie down, there will be a lot of itching or irritation in the nose and because all this mucus trickles down the throat it leads to a lot of cough and, and, and specific treatment for allergic rhinitis needs to be given and again as I said no antibiotics will help, no cough syrups will help. The other causes of cough could be things like tuberculosis uh, which is common in our country. So if a child has cough associated with sputum, uh, associated with fever, weight loss, being uh, having a loss of appetite then we, we need to sometime think about tuberculosis as well. Now, apart from these common causes there can be causes which, uh, which, which are slightly rare but does present with a prolonged cough things like bronchiectasis or suppurative lung disease where the airways become swollen and there is a lot of mucus inside, uh, things like cystic fibrosis which is a genetic condition and then you can have things like foreign body in the airway and so on. So there is a long list which a pulmonologist would need to consider if a child is not improving. But these are the, the, the general causes of cough which, which we would look at. Thank you very much. For further information, please visit our website blkhospital.com. BLK Super Speciality Hospital, a passion for healing.